Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 22nd of 2020. Well, it's titled Equinox in the Sky. So what do we see here? Well, we're seeing images from four, sorry, seven different days of sunsets as seen from Edmonton in Canada. And we see each of the lines of little dots are actually paths of the sun that the path of the sun took on those days between the as, as sorry as it was setting. Now what we see in the middle, the middle of these three lines is actually what occurred on the equinox. Uh, today is the autumnal equinox, the first day of fall for those in the northern hemisphere. And on that day, the sun will set due west. So you can see that right towards the middle here as it disappears behind the Edmonton skyline, you can see the sun setting pretty much due west. Now after that, as we work our way, this was taken and this one was taken in the spring, this would have been in spring of this year. Uh, so this would have been the vernal equinox or the first day of spring. So the process is the same just reversed uh, in that at this point here, the sun was would be days after this as we went from Ju from um, May March into April and May, the sun would have set further north of west forming a much larger arc through the sky. Now today being the autumnal equinox, the sun will be setting further south of west every day, and the arc that it takes through the sky will be much shorter. And that gives us much longer days in the summer because the sun is following a longer path through the sky. And in fact, you can see as we and in this image uh, towards the far right, that the sun doesn't go below the horizon for a very long time, it does set but it doesn't go below the horizon for a long time as it would much further south. And that means that you're getting a much longer daylight also as you get higher up on the Earth, higher in latitude on the Earth. So if you could go even further north, you would see that there would be days where the sun would never actually set and you could follow that curvature around the uh, around and it would actually not quite just skim the horizon and the sun would be up for 24 hours. Now you have to go pretty far north to do that the northern tip of Alaska very northern Canada and very northern Scandinavia are places that would see the midnight sun during the summer and would also see days where the sun would never get up above the horizon in the winter. So if you're far enough north or south, those are things that you can see. For those of us in between, which is the vast majority of people, you can see the differences in where the sun is setting by looking at its path in these images from looking at December of 2019 on the far left to June of 2020 on the far right. And that's the path that the sun would take each of those months roughly over the course of the day as it is heading down and setting. And you can see that over those uh, over those six months that the sun went from setting very far south of west to very far north of west. So that was our picture of the day for September the 22nd of 2020. It was titled Equinox in the Sky. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.